You may be asking yourself, what is a portfolio? A portfolio is a collection of work which tells others about your creative and problem-solving abilities. Bachelor of Industrial Design at Humber is a four years degree program with interaction, product, and transportation design streams. Your portfolio will be reviewed by industrial design faculty to help determine your suitability for the program. We recommend you pick up a copy of Sketching the Basics. I'll put the ISBN number right here. For this portfolio, you will need to submit a total of seven submissions. That's a total of five creative pieces and two written samples. Submission one is a perspective line drawing of a chair. Submission two is a perspective line drawing of a various kitchen appliance. Submission three is a color still life study. Submission four is a three-dimensional work. And submission five is a piece of your choice. This will be followed by two written pieces. My name is Dylan Torville. I'm an industrial designer, former Humber graduate from 2020, and I applied to this program back in 2016. Creating an industrial design portfolio can be challenging as well as exciting. This video aims to show you what to include and how to create pieces that will get you accepted into the program. It's your roadmap to building a portfolio that stands out. I'll walk you through my process for creating two point perspective drawings and rendering still life images. By the end of this video, you will have learned how to create a quality portfolio document. First, let's talk about creating the content for your portfolio. You will need a total of five creative submissions, so let's get into putting those together. The first two are drawings in two-point perspective, so let me briefly go over the method before we apply it. Two-point perspective starts by defining a horizon line on your page. In the field of industrial design, this is often referred to as the eye line of the viewer. On the horizon line, we need to place two vanishing points, one on each side. This is where our sketching lines will converge, creating the illusion of 3D form. The first submission is a two-point perspective drawing of a chair. I'm gonna sketch a very simple chair and I'm gonna be using an 11 by 17 piece of paper with a ballpoint pen. First, I start with my horizon line, followed by my vanishing points. The vanishing points are where all of my sketching lines will converge. I'm creating my profile lines by drawing construction lines towards the vanishing points. These will form the surfaces and details of the chair. From here, I use vertical lines to create the framework for the chair. Right now, I'm adding in a few darker lines to help establish a sense of depth. And just like that, our first two-point perspective sketch is done. The second submission is a two-point perspective sketch of a coffee maker, kettle, or a kitchen stand mixer. I'm gonna be sketching a coffee maker, in particular, a French coffee press. Just like the chair sketch, I'll be using 11 by 17 paper with a ballpoint pen. As with the chair sketch, I'm starting out with my horizon line. Then I'm going to add my vanishing points. From here, I use vertical lines to create the framework for my coffee press, and I begin to add details as I go on. And right now I'm adding a few darker lines here and there to establish the sense of roundness of the form and create a sense of depth. Just like that, we've created our first two pieces for our industrial design portfolio. Next up, we have the still life study. And for this submission, we're going to be working in color. The still life study challenges you to practice observational drawing and sketching from life. To start, we need to make a simple composition. This could be a bowl of fruits, some items from your desk, a coffee mug, some books, some, your pair of glasses. To ensure that my lighting stays the same and doesn't change as I'm drawing, I'm gonna take a photo that I can use to reference later if I need to. You can use watercolor, pencil crayon, markers, any colored medium for this piece. I start off by sketching very light and in almost no time at all, you can see here we have the finished still life drawing. For our next piece, we're gonna be tackling the three-dimensional work. This submission, the three-dimensional piece, is all about demonstrating your manual construction skills. The sky is the limit here. I made a model skyscraper for my portfolio application back when I was in high school. That was a combination of balsa wood, foam core, and paper. For the three-dimensional piece, you can also submit furniture construction, craft pieces, perhaps a piece of jewelry that you designed, or even a sculpture. With that out of the way, we're gonna move on to the fifth submission piece, which is the work of your choice. This is a chance to really show off your best work and demonstrate your creative thinking. We ask you to avoid photography and abstract art pieces, so some examples of work that you can submit are the following. Illustration, CAD drawings, digital graphics, foundational product design projects, other pieces of 3D work, 
paintings in watercolor, acrylics, or oils. For my application, I submitted this painting. The industrial design faculty will be looking for works that show your attention to detail, conceptual thinking, and the ability to produce creative work. Now we're gonna to start to wrap things up. With our creative work complete, you'll need to produce two writing samples in addition to your application. For part one, we'd ask you to describe your knowledge of industrial design, referring to products or designers, as well as styles that you find appealing. For this, we're looking for 200 words. For writing sample number two, describe the skills and talents that you can bring to the industrial design program. List your extracurricular activities, as well as previous work experience. How do you think that these experiences will contribute to your perspective of design, as well as as a student of design? We're looking for this in about 250 words. Now that that's all out of the way, let's go talk about scanning and bringing our work into the computer so that we can submit our portfolio. Scanning your work is very, very, very important. The way that you are presenting your work says a lot about who you are as a prospective designer. Skewed scans with yellow light of your work on your kitchen table just won't cut it here. You can scan your work on a normal computer scanner if you have one, but if you don't, there are many apps that you can get on your phone that work just as well. I prefer to use Adobe Scan, but PDF Scanner and iScanner work very well. You can also contact your local office supply store for scanning services. I like to scan my sketches on the floor near a bright window. The more light you have access to, the better. This is gonna give you cleaner scans with more detail. Now go ahead and scan your drawings. I'm gonna be using Adobe Scan for this and Adobe Scan automatically saves these as a PDF, but you can also save it out as a JPEG image if you want to. I'm gonna email these to myself, download them on my laptop, and then we're gonna get into putting this thing together. When you're submitting your portfolio, you need to submit this as a PDF file. Fortunately, there are many ways to do this and all of them work equally as well. It simply depends on what software you have access to. If you're using Adobe software like Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign, exporting a PDF file is very simple. Other programs that can convert files to PDFs are Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, online programs such as Canva, Figma, and Miro, as well as Google Docs and Google Slides can export PDFs. As an example, I'm gonna show you how I would put my portfolio together using Microsoft Word. I'm gonna open up a new Word document and start by inserting a one by two table. I like doing this just because it keeps images organized on the page and prevents things from getting jumbled around. Let's insert our first scan, the two point perspective sketch of the chair. In portfolios, how you display your work is often as important as what you're displaying. Adding a simple title block near the bottom gives the viewer only the essential information they need, but helps frame your work very nicely. I like to write out the name of my piece in bold 12 point font. On the next line, I'll include my name in 10 point italicized font. And below that, in 10 point font, I write the piece dimensions followed by the medium. Let's do this for the remaining pieces in the portfolio. Now that we're all done, head up to the left-hand side, click File, hit Export, and then follow that to Create PDF slash XPS document. Just like that, you've made your first portfolio, and it'll be the first of many, trust me. Now that you have created a portfolio and completed your writing samples, it's time to apply. Head over to the Industrial Design website, click on Admission Requirements on the left-hand side of the screen. The info that is shown here is exactly what we've just gone over in this video. Head down to Submission Instructions, click this, and you'll be redirected to Humber Slide Room. Now scroll down until you see Bachelor of Industrial Design, click that link, and continue from there to upload your documents. Thank you so much for watching this video. If heading into the world of industrial design is on your to-do list, or you've already applied and are looking for some portfolio guidance, use this video as a resource and dive into it headfirst. I'm excited to see what everyone creates. Good luck with your goals and have an amazing day. Catch ya.